Well, hey guys, Jason here, Hardway Farms. Uh, just thought I'd uh, show you my new bee feeder that I built. Uh, this is uh, made out of scrap from work. Uh, we use this uh, 15 inch cable rack uh, to uh, sew cables on in the telephone industry. And uh, and if you cut any, you know, it comes in 10 foot sticks. So if you cut any amount of it off, <clears throat> uh, the rest of it just goes in a dumpster so i take it i i bring the scraps home and use it for all kind of projects but you could do this this setup with uh with uh two by fours just as easy actually probably easier uh but what i've done here is uh i've taken the uh taken and built me just basically a little table for my bucket feeders and uh i'll show you how to make the bucket feeders uh in another video i'll uh once I get that video up, I'll link it to this one. But uh, what I've done is I've uh, built a stand to hold the bucket feeders, and I've took some turkey pans that you uh, just roast a turkey in. I've filled them with uh, pea gravel. Let's walk over and take a look at this. Uh, I filled them with pea gravel, and then uh, <clears throat> along the uh, edge just below the uh the gravel line i've knocked holes in it so that uh it'll catch rainwater and the runoff from the uh, simple syrup that i feed the bees with and uh and you know the bees can crawl around on those rocks and uh and get the rainwater or get the uh, simple syrup without getting the little cells drowned but uh let me set the buckets on here and uh and you can get a better idea how it works. Uh, the buckets have holes drilled around the edge and uh, this little reservoir here fills up with the simple syrup the bucket will pull a vacuum and the bees as you'll see here in a little bit they just clamor around these edges here uh, biggest thing is to make sure that uh, that it's nice and level now I've made some mistakes uh, one of the mistakes was, uh, there's my bee stands. I took, before I built this setup, and I put uh, my bees, I, I put the bucket feeder right next to my weakest hive. Thinking, oh, it'd be great. They could be right there, they could just go right to it. Well, it attracted every bee in the neighborhood. And when they found my weak hive, they started robbing my weak hive as well as getting the uh, syrup out of the buckets. And I'm going to tell you, actually, it was this hive up here that uh, that that explained to me in no uncertain terms that they wanted that bucket moved off of their stand. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I set one bucket down at those others, and I set one bucket right here on this guy, and uh, and. A couple hours later, I walked down here to look at this one, and one of the bees off of the landing just came right off the landing and tagged me right in the forehead. I mean, just almost between the eyes. Uh, and, you know, you could see them wrestling around, the robbers trying to get into that hive. It, it, was, uh, it was ugly, so it, it taught me real quick, entrance feeders are not the greatest thing in the world, and neither are... Uh, Neither is sitting a bucket feeder out next to your hive, very close to it. You want to get it a little bit away from it. Uh, also, something else I've learned is with these five-gallon bucket feeders that uh, is that uh, they uh, they don't work well at all on the ground. Ants will come to them, and uh, oh, they like the new farm truck. 
we're gonna give that thing a try I'll give it a review later it's a new to me 2008 model Honda Ridgeline but uh, we're gonna see how it works I've got the dually and I've got my Jeep and now I've got the uh, ridge line for a sort of a in-between but uh where was I yeah these bucket feeders don't work well on the ground either um, that they, they just don't work well at all but uh, uh, you know unless you get them up on a stand like this I'm really really impressed with this and like I said I'm gonna build another stand for my other uh, B yard and uh, and here in a future video or so I'll show you how to uh, make this bucket as well but anyway guys just wanted to uh, show you my stand and uh, and uh, this is the today's project at Hardway Farms well guys the bar is open Y'all have a good one.